Now, as you heard, for many of our voters, Matthias's name conjured images of another Elida Bulldog, a three sports star whose school scoring record was eclipsed by Matthias, but he gets the nod here on 44's Top 44. <laughs> Reggie McAdams, Elida, class of 2012, basketball, football, and track. Graduated as Elida's all-time leading scorer, as well as blocked shots, games, and starts. As a senior, helped lead Elida to the state title game, averaging 22 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks a game. Named the Division II Player of the Year, first team All-Ohio as a senior, and second team All-Ohio as a junior, twice the WBL Player of the Year. In football, Division III Offensive Player of the Year and first team All-Ohio quarterback as a senior, throwing for more than 3,800 yards while leading Elida to the state semifinals. Also participated in track as a sophomore, finishing fifth in the state in the high jump. Reggie was long, and that was one thing I think I remember more about anything. You know, he altered so many, you know, plays just with his length. Obviously, he was a very good athlete, and he shot the ball well. But I think, uh, you know, defensively, he was able to put so much pressure and get into passing lanes with that length. And, uh, you know, he used it to his advantage. I mean, he was a great athlete with a good first step, and he could obviously shoot the ball, but uh, he had a little bit of everything. Reggie McAdams, when you looked at him, you thought, well, this is a body that's going to be down inside and score. But Reggie's real skill was taking the ball to the perimeter, where his size and jumping ability allowed him to go over players and make three-point field goals. And to me, Reggie McAdams maybe wasn't the best all-around player. He had some weaknesses to his game, but the things he did well, he did as well as anybody around. And his love of the game of basketball, I think, took him a long way. And Reggie struck me as one of those guys that was able to accept the fact that he might not make this shot. And if he lost, he could handle it. And we saw it from his very first season at Elida, the, the shot on the baseline that won him a game at the district at Bowling Green, you know, sent him on to the next round. And then later, uh, as a senior, leading the team to the state championship game. You look back at it, you know, that they, they obviously had the talent to play right with Dunbar, who had like four D1 kids. He, he was so good at the outside shot that people thought every shot should go in when Reggie shot it. When Reggie came along, United football had not been very good up to that particular point. Now he came in with some good classmates as well, but his ability to command the field offensively, to throw the football and find teammates, and to scramble and run when necessary made that football program a success. You're right, there weren't a lot of fingerprints on the victory bell in the years before Reggie took over. And yeah, here's a guy that a lot of people in his situation, I think, knowing that they're going to be a D1 basketball recruit, might have said, ah, I don't want to play football. But, you know, he went out and took him to the playoffs, what, threw for 3,800 yards that one year. And, uh, you know, probably was good enough that he could have gotten recruited by some D1 schools for football if basketball hadn't been his main game. In fact, I thought he was a better football player in high school than he was a basketball player. I may have been in a minority there, but I thought he was a tremendous quarterback. He had the stature, he had the arm, he had the accuracy. He knew the game, he knew the system, he made the right decisions, he was a good leader, and I think he could have been a Division I college quarterback if that's what he had wanted to do. Changed that game and uh, changed a lot of their program and uh, things going on there. You know, he was a very special kid. A good, good kid, and had possessed a lot of athletic ability, and uh, you know that it sure showed. And we had some epic battles with him. Another thing about Reggie McAdams, some people maybe didn't fully realize, is how thoughtful of a young guy he proved to be. For those that took the time and learned to know Reggie McAdams just a little bit, he was an excellent student, but he wasn't just an excellent student A, B, and C wise. He really seemed to care about other people. He cared about the kids at the Elida School. So he was a natural leader, even though he wasn't overly vociferous as a player. And, and that's, a, that's a tip of the cap to Reggie McAdams. McAdams played four seasons of basketball for the Akron Zips. Reggie McAdams, number five on 44's Top 44 Male Athletes. At Akron, Big Shot Reggie increased his scoring total each season, finishing with an 11-point average as a starter his senior year.